How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore Window Tinting and Paint Protection Film, and today I'd like to show you how we bulk mirrors on Teslas. So what I've done is sprayed the mirror down with soapy water and then applied our piece of bulk material over the top of it to make sure that we've got plenty of coverage. And then we're going to spray this bottom part down underneath the mirror with a little bit of our rubbing alcohol mixture. And then we're going to tack this part down. The rubbing alcohol just really helps bring out the aggressiveness of the adhesive and helps it to stick down quickly. All right, so once that's down and stuck, you want to double check and make sure that none of the rest of the material has stuck itself to the mirror cap. And then we're going to go ahead and, and stretch this. Now you're going to notice here that I'm going to stretch back towards me, but I'm also going to stretch from left to right. And the left to right part is really what's going to help us cover this entire mirror. And that will help the material wrap in behind the mirror and get a nice clean edge that will be tucked under in the back of the mirror. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So once you get it held in place with one hand, I usually wrap the material around and then grab it with one hand. And then it's time to go ahead and start squeegeeing out all the excess moisture. You want to make sure and do plenty of uh, overlapping when you're squeegeeing out the moisture from underneath the material. Any water bubble that is left behind will dry and leave an air pocket. All right, now that we've got the rest of the mirror stuck down and I was able to remove my other hand because it's plenty stuck, the material is plenty stuck down. We're gonna, we went ahead and put some rubbing alcohol in there in this part that hasn't been pushed out yet. I'm gonna push that part out and then I'm gonna push down, push into that crevice and then I'm gonna pop the material from the bottom and relieve that tension. Now we want to, what we want to do is go ahead and get all of the edges stuck down real good. So we're going to add some of the rubbing alcohol mixture to it, and then we're going to wrap all and tuck all of these edges down. Quick here, I'll go ahead and trim the material, bottom of the mirror cap there, so that we can wrap that around without having it continually trying to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap that material into the back of the mirror. The advantage to wrapping it in the back of the mirror is that you won't have a, a line that's the edge of the film going across the top of the mirror. That'll just help this install be virtually invisible. So you want to go ahead and dry the mirror off once you've got all the water moisture squeegeed out. That way you can double check and make sure that you didn't leave any water bubbles in there. Like I said before, those will end up turning into air pockets when they dry. Now we want to go ahead and put in just a little bit of stretch here and there if necessary and trying to get this inside of the mirror down as much as I can. We usually on these, we're only going to be stretching back and, and laying down the material probably about a half inch. 
to three quarters of an inch past that rounded edge. And that's going to be more than enough coverage to protect the mirror on the road. When you stretch an entire mirror on a Tesla and try to get 100% coverage on that back side, you end up stretching the material incredibly thin, which then can allow it to be damaged by rocks a lot easier as well as you can have issues with the material trying to pop up over time because you overstretched the material so there you could see that you know we're wrapped in really good on the back side So right here you can see in the reflection that I'm trimming the mirror underneath inside the mirror. And what that's going to, I mean, that's part of the art of doing paint protection is that you're trying to hide as many edges as possible so that somebody walking past this car would, you'd never even know that it had paint protection on it. And that really is the art of installing paint protection is hiding it so that it's virtually invisible. So what I'm doing here is trimming these edges. And when I'm running my blade across it, I'm not actually cutting through the material. I'm scoring it. And when you score it, what that allows you to do is tear along that edge. Then once you've got all your edges trimmed, you want to go ahead and take your towel and try out any moisture on those edges so it can be the adhesive can begin to dry out so you can get a good final press on the edges. So this is the final step of our install here. And what this is called is heat, I'm heat sealing the edges. And basically, you're going to take the heat gun. You're going to heat up every single edge of the paint protection film and push it down with your finger. This process is really going to help with the longevity of the install and make sure that we don't have edges that are popping up and getting dirt under them. This is an extremely important process that unfortunately is skipped a lot because you can't tell that I didn't do that right away. But down the road, you'll definitely know when you have edges popping up and they're getting dirt under them. When you're doing something this like this on such a small piece, it's not, I mean, it's a very tedious process, especially when you're doing the entire car. You've got to go around and heat seal every edge. All right, so let's take a look at this finished product. You can see that that's wrapped up in there. And that edge is completely hidden.
let's see what we can get here for some angles and get some shots of the finished product. All right, terrific. I appreciate you taking a look and seeing how we do our bulk installs on Tesla mirrors. If you found this helpful at all, please like and subscribe.